Hi, I'm Elaine from Gorgeous Gardens and I just thought I'd show you how the runner beans are doing that I planted a while ago. As you can see, lots of flowers on here and the leaves are nice rich green colour and the stems are healthy and they're clambering up our framework really nicely. So the beans will just start to be appearing fairly shortly and I just thought this was a good chance to uh, just show you a few things that you might want to do in order to get the best results from your plants. So now that the flowers are starting to appear the beans will be following on shortly. Um, the plant is now using up quite a lot of nutrients so it's a good idea to give it a feed I use a seaweed liquid fertilizer. Uh, it's very simple, you just dilute it and water it on. All the instructions are on the back and it just gives the plant an extra boost. I find that you get a better crop. The plant is a lot healthier and stronger and um, it just keeps the plant going while it's producing all our lovely beans. <laughs> you might like to see what the beans look like when they first emerge so you know what to look for so on our flower stem here we've got the buds and then we've got an open flower and then a flower which is dying off and then here you can see is a tiny bean just starting to emerge out from where the flower was and there's still a bit of the and a dying petal attached to it and then there's a little baby bean that really looks like a bean here oh there's a bee as well and you can see that the they're slightly c shaped or curved or hook shaped um, whereas the stem is you can see is straight and the bean is is curved so it's easy to identify them um, on the stem so it's just something to look out for so you can see when your beans are starting to emerge so it's, it's important to take care when you're checking your plant you're watering or if you've got to move them around at all just make sure that you don't knock these little tiny beans off mm -hmm. 